Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Vivi coming at you with another video and today I want to talk to you a little bit about why I started YouTube, why I'm grateful for it and so incredibly happy to have it be a part of my life. I'm so overwhelmed, but in the best way possible. I am going to tell you how YouTube changed my life as a small creator. Hey, stay tuned to the end of the video because I do have some exciting dreams news to share with you towards the end. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like really excited to film this video. Oh my gosh, I have some really fun and exciting news that I can share with you on March 16th. This YouTube channel officially hit 5K, 5,000 subscribers. We are almost at 5.1, which is so incredibly exciting. This, this year has just been in Saying even just that one time I was noticed at dance competition a couple videos ago um, Someone recognized me from a YouTube video and It's just so exciting. I literally cannot believe it. I am so grateful to be at I, I'm literally kicking my feet under the, <laughs> under the desk right now. Oh, I'm so grateful because it it finally feels like my dreams of becoming a youtuber and you know creating a space on line where people are enjoying my content I'm creating a community I'm actually finally getting paid after seven years which that hasn't happened yet but it is a goal that I want to hit this year it would be really awesome if I could make money from doing these YouTube videos that I'm already doing anyway I'm just I'm excited because it finally feels like it's going to happen for me this year I want to thank all of you for this because truthfully without you I wouldn't have the 5k subscribers and if you're not subscribed yet you could be a part of the fam. I put a lot of work and effort and like dedication into these videos um, and I put a lot of my creativity into them as well so it just makes me really happy when they are well received and when people like them. I love it when you comment and I would love for more people to comment in my videos because it allows me to start a conversation with you and get to know you and be friends with you. I have met so many people through my comment section, made friends over YouTube and just, oh, I, okay, I have a whole outline on my laptop right here of everything we're going to talk about and get into. I'm so overwhelmed, but in the best way possible, I am going to tell you how YouTube changed my life as a small creator. The number one thing that has changed in my life since I started YouTube is my confidence. Now it has, you know, kind of gone up and down throughout the years, but I will say I am so confident not only in who I am, but how I do things, what I do, being in front of a camera, which is kind of essential in the career field that I'm trying to get into. Everything I'm going to talk about today kind of all ties together into one big grand scheme of it all. But like, so you're going to hear me repeat things each time it's in a different way. You'll see, you'll see. This year has been a crazy year for me because um, not only did I hit 5k, I finally started feeling like um, my content was reaching people. I started to feel proud. Uh, more so than I have in the past of the content that I was creating as well as just like being comfortable being myself online I feel like I've done that the most in the past like six months than I have in the entire seven years that I've been on YouTube which is probably why right now it's my cr content and my channel is growing so much is because I am being myself. I'm putting it out there shamelessly and confidently and I don't care who sees it. This is what makes me happy and if it doesn't make you happy, why are you here? Bye! I have a goal to hit 10k before the end of June, so like in three months. Realistically, it's, it is a lot. That is uh, about 5,000 subscribers in the span of three months. But stay in Delulu is the Salulu. My Instagram bio literally says in my Delulu era. It's gonna, it's happen. gonna happen. I don't know what don't to tell you. To it's tell gonna, you. Happen, it's gonna okay? happen, okay? It's gonna happen. I'm gonna have 10K by the end of June. And also by the end of June, I'm gonna start monetizing my shit. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting paid for all this hard work that I'm putting in there. I'm manifesting this for myself. I want this as a career. And so in order to have something as a career, you have to get paid for it. Um, and clearly for the past seven years, I've been doing it without pay. But 
this year I'm just, I'm enjoying the whole thing. I'm enjoying the creating the content, the planning the content, the filming the content, the editing the content, and then putting it out there for all of you guys to see and receive has just been, it's been a lot this year. It's been a little overwhelming sometimes, but it, it has been fun nonetheless. And that is all that I'm striving for. Um, is to make sure that I am enjoying what I am putting out. But hitting 5k kind of feels like that hurdle that a lot of creators get to that once you get over it and sometimes it's even like 10k but like once you get over that hurdle it's like a snowball effect it just keeps going quicker and quicker and quicker and I think that the excitement of hitting 5k so quickly this year has like launched me into pushing me to be like the best creator that I can mentally physically well enough to produce good content for you guys really reaching for the stars hit 100k by the end of the year or realistically I'd like to hit 50 by the end of the year I think that would be doable but like you shoot for the moon and then you'll land somewhere among the stars so I'm shooting for 100k by the end of the year I've hopefully got some really cool and creative content that'll help me get there uh, I've been planning a list of all the months of the year right here um, all the months are filled in with content ideas except for September October and November and December um, but I'll start filling those in more once summer gets here <sighs> It's just, ah, I have so much passion for YouTube. I'm thanking you because genuinely I would not hit the 5K, hit the 10K, hit the 100K, even maybe a million one day without you. And yes, I literally mean you. Speaking of which, my analytics, uh, because I go through those quite often, have shown me that like there's a good percentage of you, almost 90 of my viewerships that aren't subscribers. So... Here, let me introduce myself a little bit more so you can get to know me and what my channel is about so you understand, like, why you might want to be my friend. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about everything dance, Taylor Swift, and all of my fun little lifestyle things. And in between, I hope that you'll subscribe and hit the little bell notification so that way you get notified every single time I post a video. If you subscribe, you'll join the YouTube fam, and you'll be a part of... A select group that gets to watch me grow into being a professional dancer. You'll be able to say you knew me when. YouTube has shown me how to be resilient. How to really push forward and push through for, for the things that are worth it. And in the back of my mind, ever since I created my channel in 2017, I have known that this is going to be a long haul. Did I know it was going to take seven to eight years? No. But I did know that it was going to take a while because all of the best YouTubers, it took some time for them to get to where they are now. And you know what? If I'm playing the long game and in the long run, it all works out for me, then that's just what I'm going to play. I'm playing the long game. And I'm okay with that. Genuinely, I am like forever grateful for not only the lessons that I have learned in the past seven years from being a content creator, but also just have a gallery of almost 700 videos enjoying life and the memories being a part of something and having like just a whole gallery of memories over the last seven years that I otherwise might have forgotten about. The little time capsules basically is what all of my old videos are of how I looked, how I sounded, how I acted, what I was going through. Like how many people can say that they have that? YouTube has also shown me how powerful I can be in really just getting the damn thing done. Like when I, I just saw recently a, someone posted on their story, in order to be brilliant, you have to have a plan and a very limited amount of time to get that done. And having a YouTube channel and producing content consistently is like that. It genuinely, you have a plan and you have a very short amount of time to execute it. Boom. Genius. And again, I am so confident that this year is the year that I'm going to reach my desired community and my goals. Like, this year it really does just feel like it's my turn to reap the benefits of what I've been pushing for for so long. I repeat, seven years and I am just so incredibly grateful 
and excited for people like you who are watching this video right now. Even if you don't subscribe, you are now a part of my community. You are a part of my history. You are a part of my success. You are important to me. Seven years ago, if you would have told me it would take seven years, I'd be like, okay, I'm not even gonna do it. But truly, the the amount of time that it took to get to where I am makes me that more grateful that I can finally feel it happening and I'm manifesting it into existence. I'm speaking it out loud. I am going to be a successful creator. I already am. I have successfully uploaded content to the internet for seven years. Whether it be once a week or once every other week, I, I mean, I have almost 700 videos to prove that I am a successful content creator. Numbers don't really matter except for the grand scheme of things where it's like making this a career at some point, which is my goal and my dream. But at the same time, I have other dreams. And so I'm okay with this not working out if it never does. But I just, I don't believe that that's true anymore. I think I have something special this year that I haven't had in the past inside of me where I truly feel like I am going to thrive and excel this year in everything that I do. And oh my God, I wish you could feel this too. If you've ever felt that way, hold on to it. If you've never felt that way, I pray you feel it tomorrow. It is an incredible feeling. I just, oh my God, it's, it's insane. And when I say I want to be monetized, like, yes, I want to make it my career. I would love, love to be as big as Alicia Marie. However, realistically, all I really want is a career that allows me to make enough money to continue to pursue my real dream of becoming a performing artist, like a, just in the entertainment industry. I want to be on Broadway, TV, film, I want to make music, I want to be a dancer. I've always wanted that, always. And if this is my means of income that allow me to get there, then so be it. It is one of the hardest routes to go down in order to be that, but like, I'm already exploring and diving into the world of entertainment I have for a very long time. I would just like to get to a point where this is my full-time income so that way I can pursue those things. I also want to share that journey with you because how cool is it to, even if it is a parasocial relationship, I don't give a fuck, to, to know somebody and see the behind the scenes of something like that. Like that is, people don't do that. You, you don't really get that experience as an, as a person on the outside. And so I would be your person on the inside. Talking about my dreams makes me so excited and so inspired and so pumped to like really push after them. Now I know the, 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 the typical YouTuber who becomes a singer and makes music, whatever, whatever, that's cliche. And like a lot of people who are really good at performing and singing do not go after that once they have become a influencer so to speak because it's a little cringy let me tell you something I have always always wanted to be a performer my first goal in life was to become a pop star okay um I can't express to you how deep of a desire it has always been inside of me to be a part of the entertainment industry when I was in elementary school I would pretend to be Hannah Montana on the playground I would put on victorious music videos on my laptop in middle school and d learn the choreography and dance to them. I even, and Lord, I will never be able to find this footage, but I entered the shake it up dance battle thing. And I didn't win respectfully. I was never going to, that choreography was just awful. Anyway, <laughs> there's even a photo of me somewhere. If I can insert it here, I will. Otherwise, I'll find, I have to find it um, and I'll put it on my Instagram. There is a photo of me out there in the Barbie in the Nutcracker dress. You know, the one where she finds out she's the Sugar Plum Princess. Yes, that dress. I had that dress when I was like four and I would run around my living room and my house all day pretending to be a ballerina in that. So like being a dancer, being a singer, being 
a performing artist has always been in my bones. And truthfully, it kind of has. Like, I made a way for myself to be in the entertainment industry without needing someone else's approval. This is further proof that you are A, the only thing stopping you from going after what you want, and B, you are in charge of your own destiny. You are in charge of creating space for yourself in the industries that you want to find space in. Go out there and like live your life, boo. Make space for yourself in the places that you deserve a space. Because I deserve a chance in the dance industry. I deserve a chance in the entertainment world. And if nothing else, at least a chance. I deserve it to myself. I owe it to myself to just go after it. I am 26 years old. There is no reason that I should not take that risk. I'm young, I have no kids, I'm fully capable of taking that risk right now. And I'm going to soon, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I do have some exciting dreams, news to share with you towards the end. I'm just, ah, I am so hype, okay? Okay, if I have not convinced you to start a YouTube channel yet, I'm not I'm doing, not my, doing job. my job. I have a teeny tiny little community and you guys all fit in this hand heart. Truly. A bunch of Swifties, dancers, performing artists, um, movie people, just fashion bloggers. Like I have so many friends that I have met through my community and just YouTube in general. And I am so grateful for that friendship. I've met so many incredible people on this platform. Um, via my comment section, via their comment section, but enough about me. I mm, truly, I would not be as close to my goals literally if it were not for your constant support and whether, like literally whether you subscribed or not, you watching this video is you supporting me still. Every comment, view, like, it matters because there's a person behind it. It's not just a click. It's not just someone going click. It's literally, I connected with them in some way and they felt the urge to leave a comment. You cannot have happiness and success in life without human connection. And the more friendships and relationships you build inside of your heart, the more happy you are going to be. I know that's not grammatically correct, but I don't care. The more happiness you are going to have when you build more human connection. I know there are a lot of creators out there who only visualize the numbers, but when I see 5,000 subscribers in my head, I'm like, damn, that is 5,000 people who saw a video of mine and were like, I like this creator. I like this one video that they made. I'm going to subscribe because that means I want to see more content from them. And that to me is just, I know sometimes we can get in the flow of like subscribing and following people that like, we don't even remember who we follow anymore. But regardless, if someone subscribes to me, I, I see that as one added person in my little community and my heart, my little community heart just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You can't have happiness in life without human connection. And I am so grateful for our connection every single day. You have seen me grow. You will continue to see me grow because I'm only 26. There's so much more life left ahead of me, I hope. And through the ups and downs of being a 20-something year old, trying to figure out her life and journey into the successful entertainment industry, and even if not, like just in life in general. Life is hard and we can't do it alone. And that's where you come in. You make me feel less alone. And for that, I will forever be grateful. I seriously have like this huge grin on my face whenever someone comments, when, especially when someone new comments or when someone who comments on all my videos comments, like I genuinely love seeing your response to something I created. Other artists are out there, you will understand that feeling of just pure bliss when someone goes, oh my God, I love this, oh my God, I related to you on this, I'm gonna subscribe. I cannot explain to you how incredible that feeling is. And if on that feeling alone, that, that I would, I would, if I could give you that feeling, I would. That is a glorious feeling of just connection 
with somebody. If nothing else, the only thing you take away from this video, start a YouTube channel and grow your community. There's plenty of space for everybody. I hate the way people talk about YouTube being saturated. <sighs> it's not like a regular business. People can be so subscribed to so many multiple people at the same time. People can enjoy several types of content all at the same time. I also want to add someone very wise and very influential to me and in my life. Her name is Sarah Meal. She, I, you have heard me speak about her before. I love Sarah Meal. I love Sarah Meal. I love Sarah Meal. But I took her class a couple of weeks ago. In her class, she said, once you take a bite of your success, fun of the chase kind of goes away. And I want you to hold on to that journey as long as possible. Hold on to that chase as long as possible because the journey into whatever you're searching for is the most exciting part. And I'm gonna be real with you, that Sarah Meal class was on a Sunday and I really felt like I was in Sunday morning service, okay? It, I was having a spiritual experience that day. Cried in the best way possible. I felt amazing when I left. It, she is such a beautiful woman and I feel so inspired by her and incredibly supported even though i don't know her and she really doesn't know me we've communicated a couple times on instagram but like i i just feel so overwhelmingly supported by that woman you're not watching this but if you are sarah meal i love you i am coming for you in new york <laughs> i will meet you in person being delulu is the salulu i will meet you this year i will meet you this year and i will take your a, a steps on Broadway class in person or Broadway dancer. I don't care. I'm gonna take a class with you in person. I'm going to meet you. Okay, so the exciting news that I told you about earlier, it's not so much news as much as it is like really excited planning and hopeful for the future. Um, summer of 2025, I am working towards saving money and building up strength to audition for the Steps on Broadway summer sessions. So that way, hopefully, I can spend the whole month of June. Honestly, I'm shooting for the stars. I would love to spend the entire month, June and July, in New York dancing. But if I only get one month, I'm fine with that. So I'm trying to save up money and work on a whole bunch of stuff for dance that way I can audition and get in and go and have a really good time and just learn so much. It's a three week program but I think I want to go for the whole month um, and then a few days after that way I can explore, get to know the city and like maybe even plan to move there in the next two or three years. I don't know. I don't know. Shoot for the moon and you'll land somewhere among the stars okay. So we're shooting for the moon. Being Delulu is the Salulu. I'm being delusional. It's gonna happen for me. Can't believe any other, anything else is gonna happen. I have no plan B anymore. Only plan A, and it's going to work for me. Lastly, again, I want to thank you for being here and supporting me and loving me, um, watching me grow and pursue my dreams and giving me the confidence and courage to show you my life how I'm living it, how I want to live it, and watching me grow and build and become the person that I am meant to become. My reason why I keep showing up. I thank you for that every day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Peace out, Girl Scout. Go be inspired. Go live your life. Go follow your dreams. Take the risk. It is never too late. I love you. Goodbye.